Here we go, look, here is an Oasis or one of the brand new behemoths in Ark, and today we're gonna tame it. Now, I know you gotta kinda sacrifice your tames for it, but I think first you need to actually get bonded with it. So, and not fall off like I just did. That's kinda cool. Um, yo, yo, Scorch, get back here! Okay, this thing is massive. Yes, you can land on the back of it and Scorch doesn't come, come out. Come on. Alright, so we've got to get on the Oasis Saw and then I think you've got to bond with it, then sacrifice a creature. So... I don't know how this is going to go. There we go. So, get in it. So you got to put, like, Essence into here. The Oasis Saw deposits its resources in here which means we need to get something to put in here which to put stuff in here you gotta sacrifice and get death essence so i don't know if you can get that from a tame creature so i'm just gonna test this and i'm gonna spawn myself a rex so you'd bring a rex with you put him on passive um now that I'm elated, if I sacrifice him, does he drop what I need? I don't know if his body's going to drop on it. Alright, I'm, I'm testing these things. But remember, you need the Bob's Tall Tales pack, which is worth $29.99 USD to get this at the moment. So the Rex shall die. And it's just dropped on the floor. That's not good. That body just dropped on the floor, didn't it? Where did its body go? Oh. Okay, well, maybe not that way. Alright, let's try this again. So now that I'm elated, I think you can then sacrifice your team. I'm just gonna do this quickly because I did kill that one. And it does not give you death essence, so I am very confused. Oh, hello! Right, so looks like. Let's try this differently. So we need a team creature. I'm not going to GM summon a Rex. Maybe the Rex doesn't work. Maybe it's not available to thing. I'm going to summon a Rex. I'll summon a Rex. Okay. Should summon Rex. Right. Yeah, four. So now the Rex is tamed. Kill your tame creature. And then you gotta harvest the tame creature. And the bag should have your death essence. Okay. Cool. Now with the death essence, I know it's a level 15, so. There we go. So that's what you gotta do. You gotta harvest the tame body. I think you need to be elated to do it. So you need to have the thing, and once you've done that, you rock all over here, you put this in here, and then you protect. Protect the reincarnating creature to tame the Oasis Or. So that's what we're doing right now. Taming effectiveness, 0%. What are you protected against? Oh, vultures. Okay. There's one vulture. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, level 31 vulture. Alright. Can't hit it. So, oh, the vulture's in. Okay, is there any more vultures? There's gonna be another one. There's gonna be another one, there it is. So now you're gonna play this mini game of protect your thing. Here we go. Alright, so they gave me 9.9% from a level 25, um, oh, it's level 10 Rex. I might have been stuffing up beforehand with, like, spawning in a max level. So basically, you gotta find a tame creature, harvest the tame creature, and then... Is there another wave coming through? What's going on now? So now times 20 on the, uh, guy's embrace. 
Here we go, new wave incoming. Alright. So, a shotgun. Yeah, you gotta sacrifice a creature, so I think the bigger the creature, the better taming effectiveness. Oh god. And looks like there has a health bar as well. So just gotta... You gotta keep out an eye out for vultures. Keep your gun reloaded at all times. There we go, goodbye you. Reload again. I say the vultures are spawning. So this is, this is all you gotta do, I think. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know if you need to be guys embraced for getting the death essence, but it looks like when I harvest it, when I had it, it caused the death essence to spawn. So you kind of like gotta get to level 20 death essence. Is that the wave done? No, there's gotta be another one. Oh no. Yeah, 19.8%. 19, 19 Alright, so this is all we gotta do. It's protect my dead Rex from being harvested. Well, I recover my creature and from vultures. So this is what you gotta do to tame the Oasis or the big behemoth. So now this is wave three. And you just gotta look up in the sky and the vultures come from the sky. So I gotta see this one. Maybe a Fabby sniper actually would be pretty good up here. Oh, I hit that. Okay, hitting the thing at the same time does. Okay, with any more vultures? There's another one there. I see you. Okay. Another one? Yeah. There we go, another wave, complete taming and reincarnation process increased. Easy! Alright, this is not bad. It is level 1. This thing has like 20k health or something if I do this. There you go. Yeah, so this is the Oasis Saw. <laughs> this is how you tame it. Interesting. Very interesting taming method. I think this is a lot easier than the for Solar Sutras. If you've watched that video, I just posted it as I'm taming this thing. So you get up to 20, uh, times 20 on the guy's embrace. There's a vulture there and a vulture there. Alright, I'm gonna go for this one first. One, two, three, four. Oh, another one in. Down goes the vulture. This is actually kind of intense. It's a bit of a battle. I like I like the mini game taming. It's it it, it changes. Oh my god! Right, he's coming. Oh, they're level sixty one now. They're going up in level by the looks of it. Okay, there's another wave in, and we are now thirty nine percent tamed. This is a bit of a drag. I think the higher the level, the better. I, I do think I'm gonna... What is it? Oh my, the sandstorm. Wow. I love how it rolls in like that. That's cool. Um, Not the greatest thing to be doing. Taming an Oasis Sort in a sandstorm. So it looks like this thing's nearly gone, by the way. Oh, right, here we go, new wave. And I can't see nothing, and it's loud. It... Oh, there we go. Another one coming through. Oh, I gotta reload. Oh, nah. This is probably gonna be it for me. But this Rex is probably gonna be it. Oh, so you can see the bar. There's a couple more vultures inbound. I think it's easier to wait for the vultures are actually up close than me trying to long range shoot these things like a maniac. Boom. Yeah, okay, that's a lot easier. 
So you're gonna need a lot of shotgun bullets, a good shotgun, and a creature that you are willing to sacrifice. That may not get revived, because by the looks of it, this might be the whole reviving process. This is brutal. How can I not drink the water here? Okay, another wave inbound. So what are we? We're at 49%, halfway tame basically. So I'm gonna wait for this vulture to get close, and then we'll blast it. Which one's closer? This one. And blast. And blast. Oh, reincarnation and taming fa- Oh, that fails the taming. Alright, so if you fail it, you fail it. Okay, I think we need a better shotgun. Or a better way to deal with these things. Maybe a Fabby Sniper might be the way. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see if I can spawn on a Rex again, right? Let's go here. Then we're just gonna... Do the cheek way. Alright, so if I harvest this guy, right? Well, I got the guy's embrace. It gives me the bag. Death Essence. There we go. Okay. So, it doesn't matter on the level. Alright, so... Alright, we've got... A 225 Rex now to try this again. So you need. I've got myself a Fabby Sniper and a better shotgun. So you need some gear. Yeah, I think the Fabby Sniper is going to be the best thing. That's for sure. I promise. Hopping off. Oh, okay, let's reload this thing. This thing's probably going to be the best bit, right? That's my honest opinion. That's probably because it's got, what, eight shots? You one shot the thing. You're good to go. So. Grab the Death Essence, put it in the Rex. This is a higher level Rex, so this might do me better. Okay, now we're gonna look for... Okay. Um, if you can aim... Yeah, the Fabby Sniper's definitely way better. <laughs> a good Fabby Sniper. The way. You just play Duck Duck Shoot with the Vultures. Yep. All right, and hi. Oh wow, they gave me way more. T so that was a max level Rex, and that gave me sixty-four percent. So the higher the level the creature, the better. And I guess Rex is probably the best bit. Maybe Wyverns if you want to sacrifice a Wyvern. But here we go, two two five Rex. Basically a max level tamed out Rex. So you can go tame yourself a max level Rex. So you don't give a crap about sacrifice it to the gods by killing it, and then give it to the Oasis or and feed its, its essence, basically, while you re... Okay, new wave. Where's the vultures? There's one there. Don't miss your shots, and you're good. Yeah, Fabby Sniper, man. Definitely the way. And then when they get close, just go... Not miss your shots. Oh my god. Oh. I don't want to hurt the bloody... There we go! We tamed it! Big boy! Alright, so now that I've tamed it... You don't get that creature back by the... Oh, you do! As a baby Rex! Awesome! So, that was exactly the Rex I had before. And now we actually own Big Boy, which you can ride! <laughs> Let's go! Look at this thing. Oh, it's hungry. Oh, it needs food. Does it eat meat? No on the meat. Okay. Um, I'm guessing this eats vegetables. She, GFI. I'm just going to spawn in some veggies. Alright, let's just go with some Savarook. So it ends up spawning in with a. Hey. No! How do you feed this thing? What food does it eat? Okay. So, because it looks like it's gonna starve to death at the rate I'm going. But it's healing. Um, 
that's very confusing. What does this thing eat? Okay. It doesn't attack. Has no attacks. And you can land it with space. I don't know what it eats. But this thing is massive. Alright, let's build on it then, eh? Um... I'm just gonna go in GCM, let's build, let's build a little structure on it. Let's see what we can build. Because that's what the point of it is, right? Let's go foundation. Uh, let's just make a little dobe, a little dobe shack, right? Uh, we want some walls. We want this. It's quarter walls. Uh, probably want uh, a door. Maybe some of those. Maybe some of those. Maybe some of those. I know they're coming in stacks of 100, but... We're just test testing this out, so I can now build on this. Now that I own this, so you can actually build a full-on structure on this now. So if I go ahead and just like... Oh, so there's bits where it can't snap onto. Okay. That's cool, I guess. So yeah, you can build like a nice little cool little house up here. And then let's just build something. I'm just gonna build something and see what we can do. That's not where I wanted that to go. Come on. Do -do 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 and now we got like a little base going on. So you can build a base up here. What if I build a feeding trough, right? Feeding trough. So we can place feeding troughs on here too, that's cool. Let's just put, let's put some Savaru, I don't know what this thing could eat. Uh, let's go GF, let's get some berries in here. Maybe it's a berry eater. Tinto berry. Put some Tinto berries in there. Okay, is it not- does this get affected by the feeding trough? No. But it's not losing health with no food, so... Can you just not- No. So I'm confused. How do we get food in it? Does it get more food in it, or... Is it like... Because now it's only- It can't- I don't think it can be leveled up. Because it's very much like a Titano, right? So the Oasisaur is affected by the feeding trough, but it's not eating the feeding trough. Hmm. That's coming to other like really the only yeah, you got the the revive creature thing, so I guess it's gonna be a minigame every time you revive something. Oh you can level it up. Oh you can level this thing up. So what gives it food? Oh, it produces resources? Oh, it can produce cactus sap. Oasis deposit. It's resources. It wood, raw salt, oil. Oh, wow. Yeah, I put, so maybe this thing just doesn't have a food stat, is what they're saying. Because it feeds itself. So maybe they just... You can control it, but look, it goes on its own path, like, when you're on it. You can ride it. Where's my character? Wait, where does my character go? What? That's so weird, your character just disappears while riding it, that's interesting. Well, that's the Oasis Saw. Gives you resources, you can build on it, it's basically a full-on mobile home. I don't know how to feed it at the moment. Oh wait, am I in the pool? Wait, wait, wait. When I ride it, do I just... I sit in the pool. Look! Wait, 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 wait. Go toggle photo mode. You sit in the pool to ride it. Like, you mesh with it. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, look at this behemoth. Very, very cool creature. Um, uh, let me get out of, 
I don't know what the food... It's not losing health, so... I don't know what it eats at the moment. That... But it's not dying, because most of the times when something is starving like that, they lose health rapidly. This thing is gaining health. So... I don't know. The guy's embrace is helping boosting me, which... I don't know actually what that does. I think, I think that means that you're more likely to get the deficits back. That's why I'm pretty sure that's how it works. I might be wrong, but... There we go, I've got myself a big boy oasis saw. And we're just gonna float up into the sky. This... Okay, this thing... <laughs> I still can't believe this thing exists. But hey, go get yourself an oasis saw. Make sure you just go sacrifice a higher level, high level tame the more... Uh, taming affinity it does give... Remember, I'm on three times... Rates on single player, so it's probably gonna be a way, way harder fight to do. Definitely... Good Fabby Sniper, if you get a crew up on here, you'll defend that thing. You could probably tame one of these really quickly for your team, for your squad, for your tribe mates, you know. And get yourself a floaty boy that, for some reason, is permanently starving at the moment. I don't know what it eats. Doesn't eat berries, doesn't eat meat. Unless it, you got to feed it more essence, but... Yeah. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next Scorched Earth video, or the next video in general. And until then... Bye.